The latest on the pandemic and the news many parents have been waiting for, Moderna officially asking the FDA to give its vaccine the go-ahead for children under six and as young as six months old. This, as a new subvariant, is accounting for nearly 30% of new cases, according to the CDC. ABC News medical contributor and emergency physician Dr. Darian Sutton joins me now with more. Dr. Sutton, great to see you. Good to see Let you. Let me too. ask you this. Uh, tell us about this new subvariant. We've heard about a few Omicron variants already. Should we be concerned? Well, Kenneth, uh, good to see you as well. You understand that we've been through this pandemic as uh, all of us have, and with each and every rate of transmission or community that has high levels of transmission, we're bound to see new variants that are developed. And unfortunately, this is just secondary to transmission. And uh, luckily, what we have seen from the information that has come in, we don't see any risk of signs of increased harm or transmission in terms of effectiveness, but we'll have to sit and wait and try to see what this variant proves if it is going to be more powerful in terms of its harm to causing hospitalizations and injuries, then we'll have to wait and see that full information, but we don't yet have it. Well, we know in New York and, and in the New Jersey area, this subvariant accounts for the majority of new cases. How critical is it for Moderna to authorize the vaccine for kids under six? What could another outbreak mean for them? I think it's necessary. When you look at the last surge from the Omicron variant that we most recently have and the data that has come out of that, we saw that those who were unvaccinated, children who were unvaccinated, were twice as likely to be hospitalized compared to children who were vaccinated. So it just shows us that there is clear benefit in the vaccine and preventing hospitalization. Now, again, the risk for children is lower, but it isn't zero. And I think given the fact that we have these vaccines available, we should not have a child that unfortunately succumbs to this virus if it was prevented, uh, being able to be prevented by a vaccine. And, you know, Dr. Anthony Fauci spoke today about the timeline of vaccines for kids, saying he thinks people need to better understand why the FDA's process takes time. Take a listen to him, and then we'll talk about it on the other side. The FDA cannot act on approving something on an emergency use until, A, they get an application from the company for an EUA, and, B, they receive all of the information necessary to make that determination and see they're given ample time to do the very important task of carefully examining and scrutinizing that information. Dr. Fauci giving us some ABCs there. Dr. Sutton, so the Dr. Fauci's comments come as the FDA announced tentative meetings to discuss, you know, vaccines for kids under five in June. Does this mean we could see shots in the arms of kids in June? It is quite possible in June we'll be able to review the full data set that Moderna has provided in terms of their vaccine for those above six months and below six years old to see what the benefit in terms of effectiveness is. Hopefully also by that time we'll see results from Pfizer regarding their three-dose trial of protection vaccine for children under the age of five, but not until that time. And, and I have to say that this is frustrating as a physician and also I can understand the frustration from parents. But a lot of these timelines were set in place to make sure that we stand up to the level of rigorous safety and effectiveness in terms of making sure that these vaccines are safe and helpful for children. And uh, hopefully by that time, we'll be able to see these results and they'll be helpful and we'll be able to get these shots into the arms of children. Well, let's look at the vaccination numbers. Right now, 82% of eligible children are vaccinated with at least one dose. According to the CDC, a, a Kaiser Family Foundation poll conducted in February found only 21% of parents of children under age five will get them vaccinated right away. What could this mean for herd immunity? Uh, herd immunity is such a difficult thing. Each and every month, herd immunity becomes more of a moving target. And I have to say that when we first started this pandemic, herd immunity was under the assumption that a prior infection can propose or help with some benefit in terms of resisting future infection. And also from the fact that we didn't expect at that point in time to have multiple mutations from the COVID-19 virus. And now in this setting of multiple variants and also understanding that those who have been previously infected are still at risk for a future infection, it makes herd immunity a moving target. So unfortunately, it is really difficult to, to calculate at this moment in time. All right, Dr. Darian Sutton, thank you so much. Always appreciate the expertise. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.